Introducing MWF SIPs. Begin by setting your SIP definitions. We specify the foam layer, OSB, and any exterior layers. From here, we modify our edge details. Next, our spline definitions are created. Here we can specify members and conditions. Once we've removed any unnecessary elements, we're ready to start creating our SIP panels. Simply by selecting our Revit walls, we use MWF's templates to create our SIP panels. My SIP panels are placed directly in my Revit wall. My forefoot sections can be modified as need be, and notice the multiple framing conditions on the numerous windows. Gable walls are not a problem for the SIP module either. With a few additional panels created, we can open up a master panels properties and make any needed modifications. Here, we can modify things such as the splice conditions, my top plate, the bottom plate, and add things such as wire chases. Let's go ahead and add a wire chase into all of the panels within this wall. Simply by specifying your heights, our splices are generated directly in our panels. Let's take a look at this panel above our large door opening. Notice the built up header condition but if we isolate the panel itself, you'll notice all of the cuts and detailed elements placed directly in this panel. This has been a quick overview of MWF SIPs.